Tom, firstly, commiserations. Is it a type of performance you can look back on and be proud of? Oh, 100%. 100%. The, the, the application, the desire, the, the work rate, but more importantly, the quality. I think the lads showed over a, over the 90 minutes, but especially over 75, I think, warranted more from the game. We don't think we deserve to lose by any stretch of the imagination. It was one of them games, you know, the first goal was a deflection they've got in, the second goal was a deflection they've got in, and the third goal was, you know, a breakaway goal and we've gone through it at the back and gone for it. But as a whole, uh, and as, a, as an overall performance, extremely pleased with the performance, uh, immensely proud of the players and the shift they've given us. Um, yes, disappointed not not to progress. Of course you are. It's a cup, and, and you know we as staff we want to win, and we want to breed that winning mentality. But as a performance, uh, we have got very little complaints with the boys. It was a very open and lively game, and it was right from the off they had a chance within the first 30 seconds that Liam Armstrong was equal to. How much of um, how much of proud can the boys be of their display this afternoon? Oh, they need to be very proud. They need to. They're going to be disappointed, and they're very dejected now, as you'd expect. Um, I think when, when it settles down and they, and they reevaluate and have a look at the game, I think you know, they'll look at the performance away from the result and go, yeah, I think you know, they did us all justice. You know, the gaffer was here, the chairman was here, the academy manager was here. So the people they have to impress, they're all here in attendance. And I think with that performance, I think they've not done themselves any um, harm whatsoever. James Spruce came straight back from Wales international duty and yeah. thrown in and uh, up top on his own for the first 60 minutes. Yeah. Uh, a pleasing display from him, getting the goal early on. Well, he flew back yesterday, eight o'clock. He got home in Birmingham at 10 o'clock in the night. And, uh, you know, after 60 minutes on Tuesday where he scored the fir his first goal for Wales, which is great for him. He's come in tonight, he's been thrown in because we've had, you know, we've had five injuries. We've probably got another three after tonight. He's been chucked in at the deep end and the type of character he is, we knew he'd respond. He's responded with a great performance uh, and another goal for him, which is which is pleasing for him. Uh, also, a number of under-16 players who had to make the step up because of injuries and various other factors. How impressed were you with their display, showing maturity beyond the years? It's, it's a hard one to be thrown into. You know, Luke, Luke Noble again. He's, he's been away with the Welsh squad and he's come in and gone as a single pivot against one of their their lads. And they're, they're, as you've seen tonight, they're very lively in the final third. Um, we had three lads come off the bench. The, all of the bench bar, bar Graham, the, the keeper, was under 16s. And I think I've mentioned before, it's a testament to, to the work Paul and Daff are doing with the 16s to get them ready for us where they need to be. And they come on tonight. Yes, they're gonna, gonna, things are going to go wrong for them. But um, the character, the bravery they showed and the courage to get on the ball and try stuff and also do the, the nitty gritty bits we, we'd asked them to, they, they, they again should look back and go, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of that performance. A number of the players tonight were the first were in their first year of scholars. How excited are you at the prospect of what's more to come from this team? Oh well, well we know it's a good group. You know, we we've spoken about it many times in the match reports we, we send. We know that this group is very good. The first years we've spoken about it with the players. The first years we've got, we're very very pleased with their progress at the moment. Now it's important that they a don't get carried away and b we maintain their progress in the right way. Um, and you know we're trying to push them up as well as the second years to go up with the 23s. There's nothing wrong with the first years going up, and, and you know Chris and Ducks and Mildy are always receptive of people that are doing well, regardless of age. They'll go up and train and play, and I think that's the pathway that the club are trying to instill, and it's working. Um, with the first years, we've got I think we've got seven, eight, nine signed first years. Liam's different. Liam's kind of a second year, but again, Liam's technically a first year. Uh, and we, we're very pleased with the group we've got coming through. We're very pleased with the 16s we've got coming up. Um, and, and we're excited for the next three or four years because that's, that's, that's the plan. We're not looking at just this season. We've got to look ahead two, three seasons to see what's coming through. Uh, and for us as staff, we're very excited.